Today I am going to show you how to turn on the hotspot on your iPhone and then how to properly use that hotspot and how to connect other devices to it. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV. I'm Sherry Riggs, your telecom expert. Let's get started. Okay, to turn on the hotspot on your iPhone, you're going to want to go to the main page and go to the settings app. Then scroll down just a little bit and click personal hotspot. From here, you're going to open up a page that has multiple options with some buttons and tabs. That's where you can turn on and off your hotspot. I'm tapping mine on, allow others to join. You can then change a password or even set a password if you don't have one. Mine's really easy. Hello, one, two, three, four. It makes connecting really simple and straightforward. That's it. That's how you turn on a hotspot. Now, how do you connect to it? Let's get into that. Now that we have our hotspot turned on on our iPhone, you're going to want to connect to it. And this is how you do it. Open up your secondary device. I'm on my laptop. Open up the Wi-Fi options. It'll be the name of your phone. Mine just happens to be called Sherry's iPhone. I've already connected to it before, so I don't have to type in the password. But if you haven't, then that's where you would type in the password. Now, just for an experiment to show you how fast a hotspot is off of the iPhone, we're going to do a quick comparison of how fast the speeds are on the iPhone hotspot versus off. And so I'm comparing it to AT&T data versus my home internet. Now I did a few tests to kind of see what it would look like. My first test was pretty slow, only five up and 17 or five down and 17 up, which isn't too shabby. I did it one more time because I knew it would be better and I've used my TV to with my hotspot and so I knew the speeds were faster. This one is much stronger. We're looking at 51 down and over 20 up, which is way faster than my home internet on the upload speed, but not as fast on the download. So right now we're gonna compare it against my home internet to see what that looks like. And to do that, I have to switch off of Sherry's iPhone hotspot onto my home hotspot, which we have nicely named Pink Chevron, which was my favorite pattern in junior high. Okay, so here we can see my speeds are a lot faster off of the hotspot and on the home internet, getting into the 200 Mbps download range. My internet only goes up to 10 Mbps upload. Thank you, Cox, for that. Not, <laughs> I wish it was faster, but alas, it is not. But that's a quick comparison for you about what it looks like on a hotspot versus off a hotspot, depending on what your internet looks like. See, told you, really simple, really easy. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more tips and tricks and just learn more about the telecom industry in general, be sure to subscribe. I'm Sherry with Whistle Out. Thanks for watching. I'm always awkward at these closings. See ya.